Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I put lot of technical content on uh, data engineering, cloud computing and data science. Please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos and also click on bell button to get notification whenever I add new videos. Thank you. So in this video, I am going to discuss about how to use uh, Twitter streaming API using Python. So we know uh, Twitter is one of the social media where people publish their messages like uh, they can be like uh, any topic they, they can choose and they can post messages on their sentiment or whatever they want to comment it, right? So we want to uh, get that stream, uh, streaming uh, streaming data or uh, the Twitter, uh, Twitter streams, okay? So we want to process the data and uh, if you want to build some sentiment analysis system, so we need a, a API which will stream the data. So there is a batch API for uh, Twitter like uh, there is a package called uh, TweetPy. There is a Python package called TweetPy, which will uh, help you to get the message from the Twitter uh, in, a, in a batch manner. So this API, in this uh, video, I am going to discuss about uh, how to get the data, the uh, tweet messages in streaming fashion. So uh, in the same TweetPy uh, package, they introduced actually a streaming API, which we are going to use in this uh, uh, section. So let's get started with the program uh, so that you get more understanding about this. Uh, so what we need to do is basically I, I actually created a, I'm using a PyCharm IDE to create my Python program. So we need to install your uh, uh, package. So how do you install? You can use pip install. Uh, so if you are running on uh, uh, Linux machine, you can just say sudo pip install tpy. So if you are doing on Windows machine also, you can use uh, pip install or if you want to install it in IDE, I will tell you how to install it. So, uh, so in the IDE, you can once create a project, you can go to the uh, settings and uh, there will be an interpreter section. So, you will have a project which you created and you have interpreter section. So, here it, it will list down the uh, list of packages which is already installed. Okay, so you can actually uh, see it here. It is loading a little bit time. So, you can actually click on this uh, 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 plus symbol and you can type whatever the package you want so like example tpy we want to install so because already i installed it so it's not showing here i'll show you where i installed it here so i already installed here tpy so using this package we are going to uh, use this uh, code okay so first thing is i'm importing a, a, a stream listener from the uh, tweetpy.streaming uh, uh, package, okay, and I'm also, uh, so I'll tell you, I will explain you what is stream, uh, stream listener, why we are uh, importing that, and uh, auth, uh, OAuth handler, which is going to, we are going to authenticate our uh, 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 connection to the uh, Twitter, for that we need to install this uh, package, our cat class, and then uh, stream, so this is very important, which will create the uh, which will read the messages, uh, it will establish the connection to Twitter and uh, uh, retrieve the message in streaming fashion. So these are the three packages or class we need to import it from the TweetPy package. Okay, then I am importing uh, a few uh, Python packages like JSON and Time. So first what I am going to do is basically uh, in my previous uh, uh, one of the video, I explained you how to use the Twitter API in batch fashion. Uh, so if you are uh, not watched it, please uh, watch me this video. Okay, so where I uh, told you how to uh, use this editor API in batch fashion. Okay, so I will add this uh, video link in my uh, uh, description section of this video so that you can watch it. So in this video only, I created a uh, authentication uh, tokens. Okay, so so th that will be like looking like you need to go to the developer you need to create a developer account i explained to you in that video how to create a developer account and create a credential so it will have like a, you can go to the your developer account go to apps and this is apps you created and you can go to the details and click on the keys and uh, keys and tokens where you can get the authentication tokens okay so i place those into my json file so i just so this will be looking like uh, for uh, uh, the authentication uh, uh, values okay once a consumer key consumer secret and uh, uh, access token and success token secret with this four information we are going to authenticate our uh, uh, 
uh, a connection to the uh, the Twitter uh, uh, Twitter API. Okay, so we are going to connect the Twitter and get the messages. So I am just reading the JSON. Okay, I actually actual uh, I have an actual JSON file and which has four property. I am reading it. So I am going to uh, use this uh, four uh, um, um, properties of credential to authenticate myself to the Twitter uh, okay platform. So uh, now the actual uh, streaming uh, program comes. So uh, so there will be a, a listener class we need to uh, create by implementing the uh, stream listener uh, class. Okay, so this will have a two method. One is uh, on uh, uh, on data or on status, and another one is uh, basically uh, on error. Okay, so what uh, the streaming uh, the the listener actually the stream listener. Which will keep uh, listening to the stream uh, uh, API. Okay, so this will actually make the uh, connection or session opening the session to the Twitter platform, and it will actually pull the uh, messages from the Twitter. Okay, so first we are going to doing actually creating a object for this Linux listener class which we created here. Okay, so I'll explain you the the two methods later. So first we'll go. So this is the entry point of this program after. Uh, uh, after reading the credential from your JSON file, so this code will be executed, and then it directly it will come to the uh, the uh, if underscore underscore uh, name equal to underscore underscore main. This this block of code it will come. So you just print this message, and it is establishing uh, like we are creating an object for this uh, listener class, data making streaming listener. Then we need to authenticate. So for that. You just say auth handler of you pass the consumer key and uh, secret, and then uh, auth dot set access token. Okay, so you, this is where you pass your access tokens and secret. Now we are going to create a, a object for uh, stream. So you need to pass your authentication so that it will authenticate, and also listener object so that so the stream uh, the stream API. Uh, will retrieve the messages and it will pass on to the listener object so that uh, the method which you have it in uh, listener class on with on status or on error which will call based on the uh, message which you uh, received it okay whether it is failure or success the the connection was the, the connection as well as the message retrieval okay so then you just uh, uh, you say basically you want to uh, retrieve the tweet messages based on some filter right so you can set this filter. So uh, stream dot a filter of you can pass list of uh, uh, keywords. Okay, so I just passed India, uh, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, and the key lady as excavation. Okay, so any any tweet message which is uh, discussed based on these keywords will be coming uh, uh, to the stream API, which will pass on to the listener object. So so now we'll um, explore more about this uh, listener class. So as I told you, we need to implement the uh, stream listener. So I am creating a class and it's just implementing it. So we need to override two method: on on status and uh, on on status or on method or on error. Okay. So here basically what I am doing is, uh, uh, so I am actually uh, so you can just, the data will be coming, the tweet message will be coming in this uh, property. As I told you, the this is a listener, right? So the stream API will pass on to the listener on status if it is a success, the connection and the message retrieval is success, it will pass into this method. If any failure, okay, so it will come to on error as a, as a part of status. So this will retrieve the status code actually. So mostly this will happen whenever you have a, uh, the API uh, uh, limit actually. So we have a limitation for accessing this Twitter API, right? So whenever limitation ups, uh, occurs, so this you get this uh, error uh, method in the error method error it will come okay so if it is a success okay the message retrieval is success so what we are doing is basically it comes the the tweet message the which comes in the variable uh, tweet data so this can this uh, name can be anything i just given tweet data okay so this will come in a unicode format okay so we need to ask uh, we can convert that into so because we want to uh, you can actually take all the message and you can do whatever processing you want. For simplicity sake, I just uh, taken the few columns from the state message. So we want to process that, right? So you need to convert that Unicode into uh, 
json format which is like a, a dictionary in python so you just say json dot loads of you pass this uh, uh, this string or unicode value and then uh, i'm just pulling the text column which will actually as the tweet message and also i'm just preparing a list which contains stuff uh, list of uh, columns which i want to retrieve from this uh, tweet message one is id column i'm interested and also person who tweeted the message which will be there in the so this uh, data is a nested uh, uh, json format you just access uh, uh, respective columns from that from the user co uh, uh, field inside the inner field i am accessing screen name which is a user name and also when it is created the tweet message and the, uh, the the particular user how many followers uh, yeah so followers count and all the text message which received in the previous step i create this uh, list and i'm just concatenating all the values to just to show you print uh, in the console and show you the output okay so uh, that's all from this code i'll run this program so it is going to run this uh, it is streaming application see it started uh, pulling the messages in uh, streaming fashion okay so the people are uh, uh, talking or discussing about various topics uh, so the the topics which we are pulling is uh, wherever they used uh, keyword india or tamil nadu chennai and uh, kiladi uh, ex excavation okay so any topic which is uh, any uh, topics which is used to this keywords will be uh, uh, pulled it here okay so this will be very useful uh, when you want to do real time uh, uh, the sentiment analysis uh, so this 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 code and uh, uh, the kafka streaming uh, sorry um, uh, twitter streaming api will be very useful so you can actually uh, go to this link explore about uh, more uh, more about the details of uh, the twitter streaming api i will pass on this link as well so i hope this video is helpful to understand how the uh, twitter streaming api is works uh, please try out this uh, uh, example and uh, let me know if you have any uh, doubt okay so i have my uh, uh, <coughs> blog okay so this is my data science wiki uh, uh, blog you can follow my uh, uh, code and other samples from this blog uh, if you like our work actually you can uh, donate if you want to a donate using a, a paypal account um, uh, we are uh, uh, happy to uh, uh, do more work on this uh, different technologies uh, in the big data world okay so uh, it's not compulsory if you want you can uh, share you can donate us uh, to encourage us to do more uh, technical content okay uh, thank you so much friends uh, see you in the next video with another topic